friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be reviewing this Tristique mascara. This is the Good Vibes mascara that also comes with the built-in lash curler. I received this in my June Boxy Lux, and I have been testing this out for about a week now. Um, definitely enough time to give myself a opinion on what I think of this. Uh, I'm going to talk a very little bit about the brand, but then I'm going to tell you about this product. I'm going to show me applying it, both my first impression day and then also applying it today. Uh, and then I will give you my review on it, and there will be timestamps for everything down below. So I've talked about Trustique before on my channel, and I will link those videos down below. So those ones are probably more a little in-depth than I'm going to get today. But the idea for Trustique is that everything sort of comes in stick form. So they have like, you know, things that normally come in stick form like brow products and eyeliners and lip liners, but they also have sort of stick products for your lips, like in lipstick. They have like a contour stick, but the other thing that they do is they have a built-in two-in-one where it's the product plus the tool. So on your contour, it's going to on the other side have a brush or a buffing sponge of some kind. Um, you know, they tend to do that where they will put on a tool as well as the product itself. So in this case, that is how we ended up with the lash curler on here. So let's talk about this product specifically. Uh, this is quite large and I just want to make sure you guys have an idea of how big this is. So I have here a buxom, it's a travel mascara, but in terms of like the width of it, it's about the size of a regular mascara. And then, you know, we'll put it next to this one. So you can see the difference in how wide this is uh, as compared to this product. And that's like that because they have to put the width of it there to have the lash curler. So just for an idea on the size of this. As far as purchasing this, it is going to cost you $25 US. So that means here in Canada, it will probably be in the low to mid 30s for this product. They do only seem to have one shade of this. It is black, but they do describe it as Icelandic black lacquer. And they say it's the first ever all-in-one curler and lash enhancing mascara for a curving, lengthening and volumizing effect. They say that this curler and mascara combo defines and separates lashes, leaving them looking longer, more voluminous, and with an increase in curve up to 186%. Lasts all day with zero flaking or smudging and easy to remove. After one application of curler plus mascara, 100% of women said lashes looked longer and visibly lifted. I feel like that's probably everything you need to know about the product, so let me show you my first impression day. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Let me get you zoomed in so we can see what this does. I guess we are going to start with using this to curl my lashes, which is a little scary. Um, so I'll just show you the mechanism close up. Uh, there's a cap that goes over top of this. And then when you take it off, there's the curler and the lever for it is folded up here and then you pull down on it and that's that, but it sort of springs back up again. And also this is not that large, like it's smaller than the full length of my eye. So let's see. I honestly don't like the way it springs up because I feel like I have less control because I'm trying to make sure I'm not accidentally letting go of this and it sort of levers in a funny way rather than actually getting it close to my eye. And oof, this feels very strange. I have used an eyelash curler forever. I'm very comfortable with a normal eyelash curler, but this feels like I don't know how close I'm getting it to my lashes. Okay, squeezing on. Okay, it did curl the lashes. I feel like they're going at kind of a funny angle. And also it's really hard to get this. It's just not a great mechanism. Okay, I sort of curled these lashes. They're not the curliest they've ever been. Let me maybe try to curl the tips a little bit more. Okay, it's a subtle curl. I'm usually totally fine with an eyelash curler, but this just feels like it's gonna come at me and poke me in the eye so much more than a usual one. Okay, I'm gonna start from the edge here. Oh, 
Okay, curled it a little. Oh, I, I don't know why I don't like this. I just don't like it. It's just, it's too, too much like I'm gonna poke myself in the eye with it. I just, uh, like it's, it's okay, it's doing its job. I will say though that maybe it's just the way I'm holding it. I'm tending to press it against my face and I can see like there's a little bit of makeup on there. Uh, so I don't love that. Um, maybe I should be angling it up a little bit more, but it just feels like there's a lot going on. So I did get a little bit of a curl. And that's the thing is I almost want to say, well, it would be good to take with you then to travel, but this would take up way more space than just putting my eyelash curler in. So, okay, I have mixed feelings about this, although I promise you I will try to continue using it during the time I'm testing this mascara, but let's go ahead and put on the actual mascara. So I just put the lid back on the curler and then this whole thing acts as the handle for the wand. It appears to be a fairly straightforward bristle type wand with a sort of hourglass shape to it, which should be good for hugging close to the lashes. So let's give this a go. Okay, it's not looking too bad. There's some little sort of like chunky bits in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, it's not the lashes clumping together. It's like little clumps in the formula, but also it's clumping my lashes together a little bit, not crazy. I'm trying to get the little clumpy bits out. Oh, but by doing that, I'm getting messier. Okay, let me do this side. I'll mention as well that as I'm testing this today, I'm kind of really going to be putting it through a test. It's kind of allergy season here right now. So my eyes have been a little bit itchier and waterier than usual. Okay, that eye came out quite a bit nicer. Um, it didn't seem to have the little chunky bits on it the same and now I need to stop because if I keep going in it's going to mess it up. So let me stop talking and do my lower lashes. Oh, okay. It's gotten a little few little chunky bits there, but if I try to go in more to fix it, it's getting a little messy. This feels like a slightly wet formula. Um, let me just put this down and I will zoom you in even further so you can see. I like the way it looks from afar, but I don't know if you can see there that there are some little, like it just doesn't look smooth. It looks a little chunky, but if I keep playing with it, it's going to start getting a lot bunchier like these lashes are. I like my upper lashes here and my lower lashes here, but it is a little messy and I'm not loving the little chunks that I have to comb out. Okay, so I don't know on first impression how I'm feeling about this, but I'm gonna give it you know, many days of testing this out and we will see how it goes. And now we will show you uh, me applying it today, which is more of how I've been using it over this last week. So I'm going to apply this one more time just with one coat because that's my preferred way of wearing it. I just have to try really hard not to hit my lids when I'm putting this on. I've already curled my lashes because I continue to not really like that curler very much. And again, I'm getting little sort of balls of product and I really want to keep combing to get them to go away, but then it starts bringing my lashes too spidery and close together. Okay, so I was very careful that time and I only got a tiny bit on my lids. So I'm sure most of you guys know this trick, but if you do end up getting mascara on your lids, and unfortunately if you've already put on your eye makeup, this is going to 
mess with that a little bit so you'll have to do some touch-ups but let the mascara dry down a little bit and then when it is dried you can take a spoolie and go in and sort of scrape it off your skin um, it doesn't really hurt or anything but a spoolie is a little stiffer and you'll be able to sort of scrape away the dried up mascara without it smudging or anything and i do find with this product i've had to do that um, if you watch my last weight watchers video that i posted you can see that I accidentally got some sort of up here and uh, I didn't notice when I filmed that video. Unfortunately, you always notice everything in editing, not when you're actually filming, but that was from this mascara. I feel you may have started to pick up in the second application there how I feel about this and I don't like it and there's a number of reasons why I don't like it, but let's sort of walk our way through. Let's talk first about this whole idea about this uh, curler being on here. Now, I guess I like the idea in terms of maybe this being better for travel, but this is quite bulky and just for comparison, you know, a travel size mascara and a regular lash curler is not that much bulkier or hard to bring along like this i almost feel like is more than this would be and i i like the idea of it but i find the curler hard to use and after that first impression day i was trying to figure out why that is and i realized that one of the reasons is when i am using a regular eyelash curler i have the mirror in front of me you put this on and you can still see through the curler it doesn't feel like it's that close to your eye and you still have a good idea of what you're doing because there's this space here that you can look through. When you're using this, you're trying to capture just part of your lashes in there because, you know, it's not a full length of a curler, it's about a half length of a curler, but you've got this big bulky thing getting really close to your eye and also blocking your vision. So it somehow feels scarier than using a regular lash curler and also not as effective because you're only catching half your lash. So I was thinking, you know, maybe for travel, but as I just showed you, it's not that much better. And then when I was looking at this on their website, it also says that the length of time of this curler is designed to match the length of time of the product. So all that to say is they tell you when the mascara runs out, or I guess at three months, because most of us, I feel like, end up getting to the length of time where we're supposed to throw it out before we use it all up you need to throw out this entire thing and then repurchase a new one so it's not like you can take this curler off of here by just this component and then put it all together again so you're getting a fair bit of waste on here and making something that is usually a non-disposable product into a disposable product so while i really like the idea of having something very innovative about the way the packaging is done i just don't think it quite came together in a way where i find it to be any better or more convenient than just having a regular lash curler so let's talk about the mascara itself and this is very subjective because i like my lashes to be very separated and very natural looking um, and that's not what I got with this. I think you saw my problem in both applications in that there's something in here where it's almost like there's little balls of pro it's not that's not true. There's just it kind of comes out a little um, chunky. <laughs> and so I feel like in order to deal with that, you're trying to comb the wand through to get rid of those little bits. And then you're putting more and more product on. And the more of this product you put on, the more it clumps your lashes together into a very spidery kind of look, which is not what I enjoy whatsoever. And I find the wand on here to be really hard to control. The number of times I just hit my lid, like I have never had an application with this where I didn't need to do some cleanup afterwards. And hey, that's partly on me because, you know, I'm not like a great makeup pro or anything, but I did find this very hard to control and I didn't like the look that I ended up with. So while other people may really like the look because it certainly does especially if you use two coats like you get length and it is impactful but it's just not the kind of look i'm going for but it may be for you so while my review on the mascara is that it's a no for me but you might like it i don't know that anybody would really love the curling component of this and i do think that it is very bulky for what it is so for me it's a no unfortunately uh, but i would love to hear from you guys who get boxy looks who have tried this out before you know were you in love with this do you love this kind of mascara or this one in particular let me know that in the comments down below uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you've i don't know where i'm pointing there <laughs> 
Um, I'll point down here because usually that's where the subscribe and the thumbs up button is. So feel free to click on both of those. Uh, thanks so much for joining me guys and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!